Seems the Marquis here was a sweet boy before his brother died. It was only after that he became a heartless bully who loved to see others in pain. But the fact remains that Annika is dead because of it. So now you decide. Should Mark Harris be forgiven? Or pay for his crime? Shit. Annika died because of him. He deserves no pardon whatsoever. Sheriff Matthews loves order above anything else. That's probably one of the reasons that led him to the military. He wanted that same order at home. Because he wanted his son to follow his footsteps. This potential crime, the death of Annika, could jeopardize all the plans he had for Desmond. He dropped the investigation out of love and fear for his son, but Annika's dead. Doesn't her mother deserve justice? You decide. Should Jack Matthews be forgiven? Or pay for his crime? I guess I must decide again. Annika's mother deserved the truth, and he did everything he could to stop her from knowing what happened. That man outside has a gun in the dashboard. Two police officers have been shot. They're lying dead on the ground. Do I need to spell it out for you? Now, you can give him the keys, or use the matches. Looks like a gasoline canister. He's a murderer. He shot those cops. I can't let him get away. Ben Harris, the post office chief. He loved his quiet life, with his books and his dogs. He used to help in church and organize trips for children. Life was good. But then his nephew, Mark, got in trouble. There was an accident, and a girl got killed. The case was closed, but her mother was sending letters denouncing what happened to everyone she could. Ben was sorry for the girl. But he had to protect Mark. So he made sure the woman's letters never left Doramont. No one would know. Ben is someone who could be considered a decent man. But he helped cover up the death of Annika to protect his nephew. Should Ben Harris be forgiven? Or pay for his crime? Here we go again. <laughs> As another accomplice, he knew full well what he was doing. You dedicate your whole life to helping others. That's what the chief did his whole life. He was so dedicated to the fire department that he often forgot he had to be a father to his son. This time he didn't forget. And so he colluded with the sheriff to drop the investigation and protect their sons. Keith Bradley was a noble man, but he helped cover up the death of a little girl. What do you decide? Should Keith Bradley really be forgiven or pay for his crime? Hopefully, this is the last time. The Chief is a liar. He should have done something. Hey! You! Help me out of here! Who are you? Get down. There's plenty of light around. I'm Jeff. I'm in charge here. I can't go down while that monster is down there. Well, what do you want me to do? I need to turn this spotlight and point it at the path. I'm not getting down. 
Don't touch that light! Then get down here. It's safe. No, don't do that! You can't leave me in the dark! He refused to help anyone who came here. Shot at them to scare them away. Shot at you. Tried to kill you. Now he begs you not to touch the light. You could try to find an alternative, but I always say, a man's character is his fate. He was going to shoot me. I bet he has shot others. She was getting the van to help these people on the supermarket. That's what she told them. She got in the van and got away. Left them behind. They're all dead now. There is no such thing as an accident. It is fate misnamed. She didn't help the others. Why should I help her? I must do the ritual and end this. Let's try this. <clears throat> Maldefidi Boli Gistra. You know what I find funny is when I see sinners judging sinners for sinning differently. Everyone's quick to point fingers at others, but they forget what they've done. And you haven't been a very good boy, have you? Do these people really need to die, or was it that you wanted them to die? Are you so sure that the man at the police station shot the cops? All you saw was a gun. What about the mail carrier? And the sawmill foreman? Who made you judge, jury, and executioner? I believe I read somewhere, Judge not, and ye shall not be judged. No. You weren't planning on leaving. Oh no. We're going to have a lot of fun. 